Okay, it looks like we're live. So welcome back. Today I'm going to be continuing to work on Kano Script. Uh, yeah, so it's been a minute uh, since I've worked on it. There was a pretty big issue. I remember vaguely what it was, but I don't remember exactly. Um, and then I took a break for a little while. I was working on Kano and Odin and some other projects. Uh, but now I'm back. So, again, I don't, I haven't actually looked at it. So I'm going to be sort of coming back to it and trying to remember exactly what it was and trying to figure out what the issue is. Um, so I remember it had something to do with the game, right? So basically I was working on making a game where it calls to C code, calls to Raylu, and then um, there's supposed to be a square which can move around. And I remember there's an issue something to do with structs. Um, so if I run this, run the game that Kano, uh, you can't see the struct. And yeah, I think that had something to do with how I was doing it with the structs. Yo, Stam, how you doing? What is up? Uh, Theo, yes, I will do that. So I have um, about an hour and a half to stream or so about that, so I'll do it probably by like an hour now we're in i'll do that so yes theo today i will not scam I will not scam this time uh right so yeah because i'm working on the camera so the camera is what the issue was um and it has to do with the struct of the camera eating and watching ww what are you eating uh, uh, right 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 yeah so it's been a while so i don't remember all the stuff i also need to introduce a syntax highlight thing for it um so it can highlight at least some of the some of the things. I guess none of these would get highlighted, though, because of how it works. Uh, meat, potatoes? Nice, nice, nice. Potatoes are good. I'm not gonna lie. This would, these would get highlighted, though. It would be easier to read, you know, with a bit of highlighting. So I need to add that. Uh, but not now. Um, okay, yeah, this is what it looks like. How it loads the, uh, Raylib, uh, library, right? And then you have to write the wrappers for them. Um, but yeah, the issue is with passing it, um, I think it's the draw, no, it's the, uh, camera one. So where is that? Mm, where is the camera one? Oh, I guess the camera... Where do we set the camera? Begin drawing... Oh, begin mode 2D camera. Yeah, so we do that and we pass the camera there. So it's something to do with that. Uh, Camera 2D highlight. You mean like this? With the two not being highlighted? Because it doesn't support... um doesn't support numbers. Uh, okay. Uh, you can also see in um, in the C one. So let me just go to in that C. I think yeah, that is one. If you do like in thirty two T, it highlights it like that. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, you know. Awesome highlight. It's gonna be better though. Once Kano script is ready and I implement it into Kano, it's gonna be fire. And I'm gonna make a whole new system for it for highlighting. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Amazing. Right. Um. So it has to do with the camera for sure. Let me slide it to zero here. Pretty cool, for real. For real, yes. It's a feature, actually, not a bug. Um, okay. Um, we set the target and stuff. Yeah, and I have the equivalent C code, and the C code works, right? So if I do, well, not C, and also L right here, and then run it, it does work, and it does follow. It follows it. You can see, this is the one that's moving, but it, the camera follows it, right? This is just a block that is here. Um, yeah, so that, that is a thing. Mm, and the stream's running fine as well. The internet's not dying. So that's good. Glad about that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Clear. Right. Yeah, so it's effectively the same thing. Yeah, I don't know exactly what the issue was with it. Mm, so what if I, uh, I don't have comments? Oh, I need to implement comments. You know, just something as simple as that, you know, that would be easy. It doesn't work right. It does highlight them, but that's just because that's the default highlight. Um, so I don't know if it has to do with the offset. Wait, because I can't see the object at all. So if I get rid of the camera. Well, actually, I had something else. I think I had a... Right, so this is sort of like a minimum... Minimum kind of thing of it, right? Of the issue. So I'll run it and then see... So what was I expecting here? New dot test. And it's just five. Um, that's not exactly what I would expect for. Uh, right. So new dot test would be this. So this would be a structure. So I want to do um test test equals new dot test. Can I do that? And then print out test dot test. Right. It prints it out like that because yes, that doesn't work. So we can't um I can't do that. Right. So that is is part of the issue. With how it reads the structs. Um, I don't know if it it might be an alignment issue. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. 
I could uh, do a GDD for this. Volcano. Enable. And I just want to run on the uh, next thing. I want to see where it dies. Um, that's not it. Uh, oops. Did, I do, did I do something wrong? Right, there is no source of it. So, is it not, um, oh, it's not slash make. That's what I'm about. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot the file is called make. I need to change that. Then I'll run it on that thing there. Uh, sure. And we'll see. So, it is right there. It is valid types. Ooh, interesting. So, that is, uh, frontend.c. Frontend.c. And it is, uh, 1156. Right. So, let's see what is it. So, that's something to do with the expression. Hmm. Let's break on 1155. Let's see, 1155. Then run it again. And we're here. So let's go here and print out field. So I don't think this one will set false. So I'll continue. Three, four. So it's the fourth one. Okay. One, two, three. So it's this one. Field is that. And what is it all? What all are we indexing here? Uh, field data type. Data type. Hmm. Right, so is it not allocated? I'm a little confused. What? Uh, expert value. Expert value. Uh, print expert type. It's a field, okay. Value on dot structure. Okay, and that's right. Um, dot values dot data. Dot values. Count is four, okay. But the capacity is zero, so that's not right. Structure dot value zero value. Uh, okay. uh dot data is zero, yeah. Data zero dot value. And it can't access the memory address at zero. Mm, not extra, that's not what I, want. I wanted to do um field. Right, so the field is not correct right there. How does that happen? But the count is greater than that. So we get the structure. Node dot value. And what's the node dot type? It's a variable declaration. Okay. And the node test okay that's what we get so we get the structure from that so what is the structure it is a test okay that is structure that is right it's actually right mm, and then from the structure how do i do this oh right because that's comparing them so the structure is right that's all fine and then where's the expert so the expert we parse the expression so what expression is this Mm, it has to do with the test. Let me go to, uh, not there. Is it this one? It's probably in here. No, it's a variable declaration, so it's right here. So this, uh, this does not work. If I get rid of this. Yeah, it's still cycle, so it is that one. Okay. Is this one that does not work? So we can't index new.test. Um, cannot grab that. That's in here. Why though? Why? So something before when it's being parsed. Mm, or the expression actually. The expression is not parsed correctly. Oh yeah, because it's um because it's not a structured dec declaration, right? Mm, instead it's um a reference to a structure. So we need to actually get it if it is, right? Get the well, mm. why is the count four? Okay, I got mm. There's no data there, right? Because it is just a reference to the variable. So if this is the case, then we need to just return this from the other variable, right? And then we're not doing that right now. 
that's the issue. Um, it has to do uh, the parse expression. Well, I think that would handle it correctly in the compilation stage, but it's just the parsing is failing because it's trying to do that. So we need to look and see if it is a field, basically. Well, no, and right here. So if um, it's a field, then we don't need to do any of this. Uh, run a plan. So if um, I might need to refactor the entire structure system because it's a bit convoluted. Um, and I know a lot more now than when I did it, so I could probably make it a lot better. It's just there's a lot of stuff, you know. Uh, expert, right, so what is the expert dot type? It's an expert field. Uh, does not equal expert field. But I think everything else would be fine there. So, and we don't have to type check stuff. Uh, or maybe we still should, but I'm not going to at the moment. Right, and the data type should all be fine. Right, it should position everything properly if I'm not mistaken. Right, uh, unknown variable text. Why is that? There is no test variable there. Mm. Backend.see. Right, this is the front end. It's number four, number five. 32. Right. Um, mm. That's not great. So why is it trying to get that? Oh shoot, do we not set it correctly in here, right? Right here. Um so what is the variable set to actually? Um expert dot here. Yeah, and that's what it actually is. Okay. Okay, expert dot value dot field dot data. Right, okay. Hmm. And the value is nothing, right? And that's fine. Because we really just want to position it properly. Alright, so where is this actually called from? The if variable. Actually, can I see where that's called from if I run it? So let's run it again. Quit out of that and run it again. Okay, no. I do that. No. Uh, so let's break our method thing that dot C D eighty two. And run it. Continue. Alright, so that was actually the one that broke. Um so let's do our back case here and take a look. So it comes from genstruct field offset, right? In there, which is at line 572, or 527, my bad. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're getting it there from the structure. Hmm, struct name. Right, and that's the wrong one. Because that's not the variable that we're storing there, so that's not right. So, what does this say? Genstruct field offset, and then where is it before that? So gen expression uh, 634. Structure name is expert value dot field dot structure. And what is that set to? Expert value dot field dot structure. What was it? Let's break on this one and that's the rule. Uh, that is front end dot C 1153. And run it with this. And one, two, three. That's not right. Okay. Wait. Uh, right, let's continue. Next and from structure. Ah, uh, so this is that one. So the structure name is test. So that's not what we want to do. Well, no, because that's the one. Okay. Okay. Print expert at value or expert at type. Expert at value dot field. And the structure is called test. Um Structure is called test. Expert value field dot structure. It's test, yeah. So why is that in why is it capital T test? Yeah. Both of them are called test. Um oh shoot. Wait. Wait, what? 
supposed to turn off. Wait, wait. Uh, continue again. Mm, we're starting to see asking why. For real, for real. Mm, just hope it talks back. Alright, so that's where it fails at. Uh, continue. Mm, mm. I want to sort of go back one more. So let's click on... Uh, Field offset. Yes, and then run it. Yes. Um, continue, continue. All right, so this is probably the wrong one. The, okay, so why is the struct name test? Uh, that is the question right here. So maybe we should go back even one more, because this is where it sets it to that. Extra value field structure, but it shouldn't be that, because that's not what it was. Unless I set it somewhere. Oh, shoot. But actually, I append it like this. Uh, well, we put any expression to it. Yes, that's not it. Um. Oh, I do this. Oh, right, wait. No, no. Hang on. Extra value, structure name. No value, var name. Wait, and that's, that's, mm. It would be somewhere else where I said it. Let's actually start over. Yes. Continue one time. Let's go through this. So depends that. It can be extra. Go to value. Uh, C is a person. Yes. And confirm. Field. And it's still test. Not even a lie. That's true. That's true. Alavaz. Alavaz is C. That's true. Uh. Right here. We call this structure name Alavaz. Here, I'll type it out. Alavaz. Actually, I think it's with a Z. That's my bad. It's been a while since he's been here. <laughs> that's his Twitch name, but then on Discord, it's C for some reason. And also, Lurv. He has like several different names. Uh, C gone forever. Uh, yes, when does it become that? I'll be continue. Then we're here. Maybe, yeah, maybe we should go back one more. Let's back trace again. Let's break on backend.c 715. Yes, now run it. Yeah, continue, continue. And this one, is that it? Read value bar value data. Not value dot two. New, set aside. So it's the next one. Or dot value dot data zero dot field. Remember field. Uh, he has several languages, including JS. For real, for real. We'll build it. Data zero dot value dot field. There we go. Okay, so yeah, it became test at some point here. So something here is setting it. Uh, ooh, wait. So this is where it's being called. Oh, I see. So we set it like this. Oh, shoot. So generate. Oh. So it's not being called here? It is. Mm, okay, let's go to this one. So that's uh, 715. Right. So up here, it is setting that. Uh, video idea, scripting language, and Scratch Jr. Genius, genius. Pa was here all this time. Yeah, Pa is always... Probably it's actually omnis omniscient, is that the right one? Or no, it's the other one. Omni omnipresent, there we go. That's what it is. Uh, yes, can confirm. So we get the structure and then we set it here. So this is causing an issue, right? This is causing an issue. Mm, but we're just saying the structure name. Oh, shoot, but it's not a structure. Oh. Well, actually. Node value dot bar dot value dot data. That's not an expression. On the present, yes. On the present prog. Struct. Struct. 
I can't do that there. Nothing told me. So what is it? Um, Prince, Prince strike that bay that strikes that name. Okay, so yeah, so that's what it's sending to. Big words being smart, confirm fact. Can confirm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Opposite of smart. Yes, that too. You need to make things simple. You need to do both at the same time. You need to use big, simple words. Or simple, small, or complex, small words. Ah, uh, like you see, not rusk. True, true, very true. How to get rid of this? How much does it break? I wonder. Because that's where it's messing up at. I do set the data type, but that's fine. Right, I just want I want to see what happens by that. Um, uh, Unknown variable. Oh. Do I not? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's not right either. Oh, yeah, because this isn't... Oh, it's in the wrong place, really. It is a variable declaration, but... Uh, don't report to FBI. Hmm, that's actually a problem, because it's in the wrong place. Well, okay. Because it's a field, right? Let's print our mode value of our value of data zero. Is a field, yes. So we need to actually check that, which is the, and if it's a field, stuff is actually handled differently. Hmm, because this just assumes that um. It assumes what? Wait. How do I do that as well? Why do I loop over it to just say, yeah, I don't, mm. I don't know, this is very strange code. Virtual drumming program with AO? Mr. Pro, yes. Oh, as always, Mister. Can okay, anyone CLI win? What the heck? What the heck? Uh, yeah. Why do I loop to set the same thing each time? I think it's all wrong. You know, this one uses that, but even if I right, but that's not what I want to do there. Um, mm, why don't I do this at all? Right, obviously it doesn't fix anything, because it's still a field, and it's not, like, a struct literal. So don't, we need to think about that, right? Right, um, because we, if it was a struct literal, it'd be different. It'd be like this, and that would be fine. So I wonder this, how that works. Right? And actually, uh, that does that hand. I meant to do this one. Yeah, so on the variable test, that is right, um, because it's not a variable. Because that's not what it is. But it's a field. Mm, I don't know. It's all, it's in the wrong place, you know? Uh, a bit concerning. But I don't know what it's for. I don't think anything broke. Let's see, what, what test do I have, actually? Oh, we can try that. And that does not, that is broken. Data size. We do have data size. Ah, uh, so somehow that broke. I'm sure it wasn't broken before. Did you uncomment this? Right, I don't think that would affect it, but let's try it. Yeah, okay, so that's broken now. Uh, nice. A lot of stuff is broken. Uh, who cars go in for real? Um, radio dot cano works, right? Yes. Experience that one still works. Hmm, something to do with the variable scope. 
is not working. I'll need to come back to that. Um, right. The structures are really the main issue. So this is not right, right? It's a variable declaration. Um, the node value, right? It's a structure. Node value. Right. So where is this? Mm -hmm. Right, we don't need to allocate because it's pointing at a different struct. So all we need to do is call this. So if our node value fr value dot data zero dot x. This is not from your code. Uh do can just get transpiled into C? Yeah, it gets interpreted. Yes, that is correct, Pro. Yes indeed, Pro knows what's up. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's interpreted. There's a virtual machine, right? So I have, um, this is a virtual machine that it uses, and it has a bytecode. So it gets compiled into that bytecode and interpreted from that, basically. Uh, which this is also a bit outdated, some of the stuff on here, but. Interpreted by C. Too dumb for a language. We just have to understand the different phases of it, right? The rest of it, it's not, it's not too complicated. Um, I kind of overcomplicated a lot of stuff here. Just one thing about going through and refactoring a lot. A whole lot. Um, yeah. Yes, by C. Yes. By C, because that is what this is written in. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about potentially, right? Not now, but in the future, when it's more along, making something that compiles the bytecode into assembly, like, or native machine code, you know, whatever. And then, you know, you could compile it directly to machine code if you wanted to. By who you meant what program? Yes, it was Tim. Tim program by Tim. Uh, yes. Uh, we use C, by the way, based. So this is our type field, right? If it's not that, then do all this stuff. Otherwise, we just want to go straight to generate. Right, I don't think the rest of it should matter. But again, I don't remember how it all works, so. Uh, type field does not exist. Oh, it's expert field, yeah. Arrow. Uh, you said by what? So it means programming that. Yes. Bruh, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on anymore. And that is also arrow. Love to see, love that. Mm. So it still says that. Um, so it still gets set to that. Interesting. Does not equal. I did it the wrong way. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. So now it's the lowercase t, but that's still it's still not right because we don't want to use that. We want to use um the structure name, the name of the variable of the structure, right? And that would be. Oops, no, that's not one. That would be new, right? So it should be set to that, but it does not get set to that. So that, um, uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's what it's supposed to do right here, right? Let me, uh, go back here. Let's just start over, yes. And let me print out node value.bar is new, right? And that's what extra value structure I think. Oh shoot, but it's not structured, right? Um, right, so there's sort of two different ones here. I'm just going to do it like this for now. Expert type sign equal um, expert field. Then we need to do that, right? So I don't really handle the field at all here, and that is an issue. So if um, expert like equals x. Paul instead switch to like a switch statement and set stuff based on that. But for now I'll just do this. Expert value dot field dot name equals uh, no dot value dot bar dot name. There we go. Something like that. And that would set it to the correct one. Who has no member name name? Field um shoot, what is the field? Value dot field, there we go. 
uh, dot structure dot name. Oh, and it's already set right there. Wait, what? It is new. Wait, oh, this is the wrong one. That's why. This is the right one. Save that field. Yeah. So that needs to be that. Next we're going to field dot structure dot name. Dot structure is the dot name. Okay, I see. That's the wrong one. That was interesting. Um, nice type there. Also, I need types of plants in the evolution program. Now there's grass and bananas. Let's go. Let's go. Bananas. That's not good. Ah, uh, bananas. Which one's better, grass or bananas? I need very little text. Mm. Let's start over. Run it again. I'm just running. Um, bring that thing up. Yes. Bananas give more energy. Okay. So, is there something else that uh, grass does as well, or is it just bananas are better? Uh, maybe I should not have pressed yes. Okay. Also, I ran the wrong one. That's a problem. Okay. Exit. Stop. Go away. Uh oh, I broke it. It's actually so dope. I should not have done that. Uh, bananas are better and you make them more rare. Okay, okay, I see. Wait, yes, I ran the wrong one. Run text there. Okay, no. Uh, and that is. Yeah. C, three, two, run this. Mm, so it comes from here, it comes from here, it comes from here. Yeah, so this is where we're at for seven seventeen, right? It's right here. So that is expected. We don't need to allocate it because it's just pointing at it. Uh, the rock, a yo, the rock, sus, sus among us. Okay. So why is there no? Why is it trying to do text? Just based on this one. Exactly. And run. Yes. Uh, Struck name. Test. So that one fails. Yes. Okay. So that is where it fails. Exactly. Um. So struct name is test, but it's not supposed to be that anymore. Bar. Bar is test as well. Yeah. So that's not right. It's supposed to be a different. Gonna reinvent Rust with Malik and Free. Based. Based. Todd, not good. I'm not good. Very bad. Uh, woke up at 4 p.m. today. Dang, what the heck? Hmm. Go in, okay. I could display it, but I don't want it to keep going. I don't know how to disable it as well. Type. Okay, here, yeah, this is it. Uh, so structure and text. That's not right. So, how do you get set to that? Uh, that woke up at 4 p.m. in the morning? 4 p.m. in the morning? That doesn't... How does that work? Uh, I don't get. Is it this one? Gen bar deck does not set that. Uh, Vaughn's Pebble followed. Thank you. Appreciate that. Or Vans. Vans or Vaughn's. Distro. Uh, text. Text. Here we go. Uh, 
this is it, garbage. There's also uh, eight the black rooms. Here we go. Uh, sixteen o'clock in the morning. A hey, yo. Wait, did that display display the IP address it might have? Oh, uh, that's not good. As for VS Code being, but I do have a dot VS Code. I'm seeing if it has anything in it. Um, it's the other one, the open source one. It has some extensions or whatever. VS Code theme. Hmm. Hmm. I can open VS Code. Let's see what it opens in. Uh, some C++ program. Here it is, here it is. I've not used it in a very long time. It's also, it's VS Code again, because why not? Whoops. WVS Code, here we go. It gets uh, configured with JSON, right? And you can write plugins or whatever using some language. I'm using Vim right now. No, I'm using Kano. Which is here. That is a uh, text editor that I've made. That is what I'm using. Ah, uh, that's why it looks kind of like Vim, but a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And the syntax handling is not very good. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, seven seven. So that's right here. No. Node value from the value of data zero five five. E struct let's continue. Continue. Okay. Uh the mic is quiet. I can turn it up a little. Okay, it should be, well, hang on, let me turn it up a little. Okay, it should be a little louder now. Uh, type by me, he stole the source code from, yes, that is true, Pro. can confirm. Can confirm. Um, bar value data. Is the mic better now? All right, so field. It's a lot of stuff, but much better. Okay, good, good, good. Thanks for letting me know. Kano confirm real. Um dot value dot field dot shot. Text. Yeah, so why did it get did it get set to that here? What do I break on this function? And start over, yes. Continue. Continue. Right, so that's uh, this one. me a few that I'll have to go through. Which one is it gonna be on? Um gen bar deck. Wait, did I break on the wrong one? Wait, continue. This one, okay. Type is field, yes. Okay. So skip over that. And then so we don't interact with that at all. So it's for this. For that part. Uh does it get set? No, not there. So something even before this. Uh, hmm, hmm. Right, because we call this single proprietary app. Yes, yes, I do. Cause PSP is, is VS Code. That is no, it's not actually. It is Visual Studio, the regular one, mm, which is probably worse. But you know. Uh, yes, but that is what it is. It's from very, very long ago. I just have not changed it, and now I, I don't know that I want to necessarily. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see. I remember taking that screenshot, though, and then putting the text over it, yeah. Uh, wait, in this place. So, I don't, mm. 
Where does it change that? Love using Windows and love proprietary software and love closed source apps. Me too, me too. I use Windows every day. Uh, I think you messed up the printf, bro. Two, including Discord. Uh, let's see. I probably have some proprietary drivers or something installed. Probably not graphics drivers, but some other ones. Start over. Uh, I see. Hang on. Is it just index wrong, you know? Continue. Continue. Right here, this is it, right? Yes, okay. Well, no, it's not. Mm, JS is goaded. Uh, okay. Arch is best, yes. I don't think it'd be set anywhere to that. But I don't know. Mm. If I break on 7.30. Okay, so that's where we're at. Um, print node. Wait, uh, I don't know, actually. Whoops, on the table, or desk. Uh, we go there. This is a big if. If. Um, wait, I should probably use a switch statement for that instead. Why would I not? Hmm, that's kind of sus. Uh, didn't know other operating systems existed. What the heck? Should you install Arch? Yes, Arch. Definitely Arch, not Gen 2. Uh, Windows, what's an OS or Mac? Nice. What's an OS? Uh, mm, mm. Do I need to break? Is that what it is? This isn't a loop, right? Well, okay, it's this, I guess. Public. Um, because I might be reassigning it somewhere else in here. Because if it modifies a different part of the code, it would like exclude that because of the union, union or something, right? Okay. See, so that is right. Uh, it's not supposed to be unknown. Oh shoot. Well, that's uh, that is not good. Yeah. So. If I don't break there, it doesn't sit there. Yeah. Mm, Gen 2 will work out of the box. Hmm. Arch without GUI. That's good. Uh, Gen 2 install speedrun... Sp Gen 2 install speedrun stream. I could try that. Probably be pretty slow, though. Mm, types of programs. Web dev on Mac. Kernel of development on FreeDOS. Free, FreeDOS. What is FreeDOS? Python on Ubuntu. And oh, Ubuntu, my bad. And C Sharp on Windows. Yes. 10 hours later compiling. For real, for real. My uh, PC is not super fast. There's only four cores, so. It would take a minute. C sharp on Windows is definitely real. Right, so it's correct here. Let me break on this again. Let's do what I do. Break uh, here. 1167. That's not Kano. Web dev on Mac, so true, for real. Rust dev without OS, yes. Genius, genius. So here, dot here, it's for dot value. 
um, put it right. Yeah, so let's continue. We need to bring text right back. So the field gets in here as well. And that, so we need to handle it differently. I'm not sure. Yeah. And I banged up here. And it has still test. Okay, so it didn't get set properly. Because it's supposed to be different. By this point. Get the structure. We only need that if we go in here. So we need that there. Oh shoot, but that is test. Ah, oh, that's not right. Hmm. Get rid of this. I did like that part. Ah, oh, that's the wrong one. Test. One. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cloud creates a DOS compatible app. Interesting. I thought about doing that where I install a virtual machine, um, like a really old operating system, you know, like MS DOS or whatever, and then developing for it. That could be fun. Can't wait to see Theo. Yeah, like 15 minutes, and then I will. Then I will see Theo. That's not X. And that. Okay. No bite. Why is there no bite? The next is with one, yes. And if I change it, it should be different, right? Make it Oops. Is that crazy? Okay, that's not good. What? Wait, what? What? Stack overflow, really? How would that happen at all? Something to do with this? I don't call that at all. But I don't know why it would be that exactly. That does work. So the print test causes a stack overflow. But only when it's 15. Oh, shoot. You know what? Well, no. See, book that goes through MS DOS stuff, really. Free DOS reads like free BSD. Oh, free DOS. I didn't think about that. Install free DOS on VM. I will try that. Okay, that is sucks. Okay, mm, because I can't do that. So let me break on. Where is that? It's in the. Uh, Yeah, it's in there. So 6.13 or 6.23. Right. Um, could be either one. All right, so it's not that one. Uh, let's just, uh, let me go back into, yeah, hang on. Funny how different they are. Use BIM and FreeDOS. Really? Fifteen. Okay. So why does that happen? Set size. No window manager in FreeDOS. Rip. Rip. Mm, yes, so why does this happen? Run instructions. So let me break uh, E353 where it actually does that. Then run it. Yes. Uh, okay, pushing that. Continue. Continue. Uh, instructions. Uh, data. IP. Dot value Eight. why does it keep going you know is 
zero. Mm, it's pushing a bunch of zero. Why though? Why? If I change this to um change back to one, then it does not keep that. Two and it's off. Five. Uh, copy pasta. Uh, includes many ports of ports of many to GNU development utilities. Uh huh. Where's the fun? Just AI. Real fan. Best for real. Is it when it goes into? Yeah. Okay. It seems to be. So it doesn't. It's not able to print double digits, I see. So is the print int broken? Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, hang on. Let me make a call it. Nine. Okay. Yeah, so that works fine. But when we call it from there, it does not. You know what? Hmm. Nice. Uh, right. So, mm, I'm thinking the issue is it thinks it's a pointer and it's trying to print the pointer. Right. Uh, that is what I would guess. For some reason, it passes this as though it's a pointer. Right. Test.x, but it is not, you know, but only when it's double digits. So that's interesting why you would do that. Open it is because it's uh, less broken. It's a small issue, but another arises. But create another, yeah. Uh, you know, it was probably there already, but yeah. Mm, right. Should we do a uh, Theo now? What do you think, Stan? What do you think? Cry. Nah, no. Why not? Why not? Dude, Zosin. Well, the thing about that is, um, his videos are all like over an hour and a half. I would though. That would that would be fun. You know, I watch his videos anyway. So, just stream it. I won't say anything the whole time. You see, but Theo is funny, right? Play the dab clip. Oh, that's genius. That's genius. And then we'll do Theo. Then we'll do Theo. Uh, hang on. You've had the dab, dab, dab. Very funny. Gotta launch Discord. Hopefully, it doesn't crash my computer. Mm, not like that's ever happened before. Reaction stream. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I remember you sending Discord, so I'm gonna search for it. But if you find it first, let me know. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, so it didn't make a whole lot of progress in the, in here, but that's fine. Mm, let's see. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab. Uh, old. Is it here? Trying to find it, trying to find it. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a say. Oh, I don't see any. I'm not seeing it. Send it in memes. Okay, let's see. Memes. It's hard to tell without the caption, though. Mm. 
I could find, um, oh shoot, I found it, 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 we're so bad. Okay, 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 okay. Something cool. Wait, wait, I think you can hear it, right? Should be able to hear that, okay. Uh, give me a second, give me a second. Let me, uh, let me put that in this. Yes. Okay. Something cool. Uh, should be quiet. Not yet, we're not ready yet. No. Hang on, hang on. Shouldn't call any bad? Oh, shoot. Yeah, because I opened Discord and all that stuff. Uh, let me close out of that now. Okay, yeah, because I have like a bunch of different stuff open now. I can close this too. Alright, let's see. This should be it. Alright, alright. Can you see it? Is it not? Is the quality still bad? Or is it better now? This is the best, the best, the best video of all time. Good now. Okay, good. Something cool. Let me show you something cool. So I'm going to put just zero two in here. Uh, right, I'm going to rerun it. And I'm going to open it again and ask you, can your stinky JavaScript do that? I don't fucking think so. This has been in a standard library since 70s. Dub, 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 dub. JavaScript developers are seething and coping right now. Yes, sir. Dab, 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 dab. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Best, uh, best video of all time. Uh, okay. What? Here, wait, 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 let me send that. Let me send the clip. I watch it daily for sure. Should do Theo now. Uh, okay, hang on, wait. Yeah, stop using JavaScript objects. I think that is the right one. What is this? Right, this is the one that you told me to react to the Theo one. Theo, best professional programmer, can confirm. Right, I don't know anything about JavaScript, but Sam said to react to this one, so that's the one that we're doing. Mm, it's about JavaScript objects. It's a uh, two-year-old video. Actually, just turned two two days ago. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Reaction stream. Let's go. Let's go. So, talking about oh, map sets and more. I think people. Let me slow it down. Actually, uh, my playback speed is too high. That's the one. Are adequate. I see objects used. In is it still fast? Hang on. Go down. There we go. Incorrectly, all the time. After. Yes. Here's a, a thing that I see a lot. I'm also realizing this might not sound like const users equals Theo. JavaScript fast. Say that I have ID seven status no, two point five x. Yes. Online. I'm gonna Maple. Speed up just a little. ID 200 status no, okay. AFK. Yeah, let's go to 1.5. That's reasonable. This is a pretty common pattern. Now, users is an object. Showing you us JS dev by force. Yes. Object. That's force to type work. is Theo uh -huh. colon uh -huh. ID status, maple colon Makes ID sense. comma yes. status. No, so awesome. if I go to a uh, create the preamble. Um, wait, wait. So if I go to a duck, duck, go. A, let's go. Uh, create the uh, There's yes, text files in here. Yes, Stream.ts. Cool. So I'm going to grab this line of code. And here's our users object. Uh -huh. Let's add another user to it. User mark equals ID. So you don't have to change it all for TypeScript. You just, just, duck, duck, go, just you, you. 100 energy. status offline. That's right. users. users. Oh, we're getting a type error here. Well, you can do that. Element implicitly has oh, yeah, any. Okay, let's give this type then. I was thinking of key a, string. Wait. What's here? Right. Okay. Any so for now. Change. That's what I thought. So I can bind this, but I put the wrong type here, and now this ID is a string when all the rest are numbers. So I probably should detail that here. Need a string when the rest are numbers. Or what does that mean? Oh shoot! I see. Okay. ID number status string could do different statuses. Now I get the type error correctly here, and now this. Mostly works. And if I like const user equals users Theo, this should now correctly be user with the that type or undefined. If I get rid of this type and comment out this line, 
it knows that this is here because the type of users is Theo has, no idea how computers work. has these properties and Maple has these properties because objects aren't for arbitrary key value mappings. They are for, it's aren't for arbitrary key value mappings. Or objects, arbitrary shapes with arbitrary nesting with ideally strong typings. An object should have a type that describes all of the keys. If you want to arbitrarily destroy and create keys, objects are not the pattern for that. Ideally, an object's shape should be determined when it's instantiated and not modified during runtime. That hurts that performance sense. significantly. Maps are, or objects are not built for that. It feels like a lot of people treat objects in JavaScript like dictionaries in Python, which is not what objects are. That's why we have maps now. So I'm gonna rename this from users to users object. We're gonna redo this as a map. Const users map equals new map string. This needs a type ID number status. Redo is controversial. Okay, well, we'll get string. to that, we'll get to that. And from here, you can pass this an array of tuples. Oh, look at that. Big tuples, okay. Ta-da. That was a good VS Code example, actually. And users map can have new users added by users map .set. Look at that. Good job. Copilot. Whereas with Love this example, copilot. I'd have to re use copilot every day. Re-add that type back and am arbitrarily like calling equals to add things to this object. It isn't what objects are built to do to arbitrarily set and remove values like that. Maps have a much better optimized dot .set and dot .get. So user or VS Code plus JavaScript plus Mac OS, yes. Plus Copilot, can't forget about that. Const user equals users map dot get stack. Theo. If you want to iterate on all of them, you still yeah, can. So they're, but maps are relatively new, right? So everyone has used that in the past. If I remember to say, I don't know a lot about JS, right? Right. And, uh, but I'll... that makes sense to me. Right, maps are made to be more like that, and these are more made to be instantiated like that, as we said. Here. Users, no maps, maps are new. Well, I was reading, right, so Stan sent a clip from Theo in the Discord a while ago, and then there was a Stack Overflow link from it that said that. Dot map. That is how. User. I might be wrong. It might be, it might be, that might have been an old thing. I'm not sure. Log. Uh, I suppose there should be no difference at all. Well, yeah. User, that should be of type string comma ID status. So user zero is the name, user one way. is true. their info because you can convert an iterable into an array pretty trivially maps are awesome. a really underutilized pattern and they're great one more cool underutilized object type is sets let's say you have an array of users in call or users or user ids it's in because, chat um, because of the methods right it's part that has something to do with it being faster right and we have one seven seventeen seventeen. Have we have seventeen in here twice. Let's say that the join event came like in too early or something right. like that. So we want to always make sure this is deduped. We want to quickly check if an, a value exists in user IDs because we want to check if they're online or not. So in this, if we wanted to const is user online equals ID number return user IDs in chat dot includes ID. That works, but you have to scavenge the whole thing for that ID. And if you pick one at the end, it's not the fastest thing. And when you remove seventeen, like let's say we have const remove user from IDs equals ID number. You could do the filter where you filter all of them out if the ID is the same. But I just want to delete that one. So if you were to const index of match equals user IDs in chat dot index of ID and then return user IDs in chat dot. Is that I forgot the delete syntax for deleting from and right. You could splice, you can do a bunch of other things. Const, but yes. I this is not neither of these solutions are great. Yes, these require going over the whole array, or at least until you find the item. Sets, super cool. Const. Online user yeah, is user 